Hello guys, so today I will show you how to adapt the quiz template for uh, Meta Spark. So it's made for Insta Instagram and Facebook and Facebook ad if you want. Um, so what you can do with the template is you can um, change each question for each step and then have separate answer and you can answer by left or right. So you can see here the, the question is changing each time. So I will show you how to do the setup. And we will just replace all images together so you can see um, how it's made. And then congrats at the end that you can change as well. So first of all, um, you need your assets. So what do you need? You need like um, different images and you, you need a list of questions. Uh, if you don't want any question or if you just want the same question, no worries. Um, you can do it easily with this template, just hide it um, that way and you can play with only your images. Or we can also put some fixed image or fixed question if you want only one question, like uh, what, what do you prefer, for example. So for your assets. So what you need to do um, is first, if you want to change the shape of the question and the shape of the answer, you can either design it on Photoshop or whatever and, and replace it. Um, here, just uh, right click, replace and choose yours. Um, same for this one, right click, replace. Um, what you can do um, is not using an image, but using the, um, the basic uh, shape from Metaspark. So for that, you can just design, you can design it inside Metaspark. That's what I mean. So by example, if you click on question, shape question, that's, that's this. So instead of having the, the material with the image, we can just create a new material, double click on it, rename it that uh, design spark. Okay, so you can see by default it's gray, that's because it's standard and if you put it in flat, it's white and you can choose the color. Um, let's put it in, I don't know, pink or purple. Um, and you can see this, if you want it uh, wanted, uh, we can. You just need to, instead of flat, just go to shader assets and create UI shader um, code assets. So with this, you can design some stuff. You can add a border, put a white, I don't know, black border with purple inside. Okay, and you can also, of course, change the, the border, so let's see, 20. So you can see we can design some, some stuff here quickly. Uh, you can also change the, the font color, you can even change the font as well. Um, that's here. So you can, you, you see, you can, you can change it um, how you want. So um, that's the first thing. So let's go back to the normal one. Okay, so, um, um, now that you know how to change the, the background design, either by an image or by the MetaSpark um, design, um, you can import your images. Um, and for that, you need to prepare your images. And what I mean by prepare is like you have to convert, convert them all in square format. So, by example, here you can see it's... Uh, ah, no, it's not square, actually. Uh, no, um, wait a minute, it's not that one, so, okay, perfect, okay, so you need to go, just go to Photoshop or edit your photo to, to have it in square format, you can see here, so it's a perfect square, tac, 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 with transparency here, and that's the same for each images, this one is not square, that's weird, um, Let's put it in square. 
let's do it for all. So let's go for it later on. Uh, that's a specific option. It's normal that you don't have it. Uh, it's uh, some custom solutions, but you can do it easily on Photoshop or other software. Uh, okay, so now that we have all our square images, normally it should be fine. You can see all the same. Okay, perfect. So you can just drag and drop all of them inside the assets panel here. And so we will delete all the actual one and replace with all the new one. So for that, just drag and drop all your images. Let's wait a bit while it's compressing. Actually, we don't even need to compress. It's already compressed. Okay. Four megabytes. You see it's too much, but that's because it's not compressed. Anyway, let's compress it that way. Manual, 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 because we cannot go above four megabytes. Okay, one megabyte, that's perfect. Okay, anyway, so um, you can just delete every every other question that we had before. So all of them just delete. And you can see, okay, that's, that's fine now. Uh, first of all, the image changed. But the thing is, um, there is a, sp a special name for each file. Um, I will explain you. So you need to do exactly the same. So you need to rename all your images that way. So first you need to put the number of the question. So, and, and then the side. So one left and then the name of the file. And th what's um, after this character, the underscore, what's after, it's gonna be uh, put as a name um, in, in the font inside Metaspark. So normally, if you put all your images in square format and that you name it correctly, the effect should work directly and that's it. So for that, be sure to have like one left, one right, two left, two right, three left, three right, with the name uh, at the end. So four left, white chocolates, uh, five right, uh, that's not correct. <laughs> so one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, six, six. Okay, we don't have a five. We don't have any five. Um, let's put this one five and this one five. Okay, perfect. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. 8, 8, we don't have any 8, I don't know why, 8, sorry for that, okay, that's perfect, so now we can just work, remove everything and work input, boom, and drag and drop, boom, okay, so that looks perfect. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Okay, so we have nine questions. That's, let's see. Um, okay, so we have the first one and you can see the Bolo and Carbo is like the name here. Donor, donor wrap. Okay, that's, that's perfect. Okay, it works. And you can you can see also the, the question is changing and for, for that I will show you just after. Okay, it, that works. Perfect. The, the images works. So now for the text. Um, let's imagine you want some different question for each images. Um, so by example, this one would be what do you prefer as pasta? Uh, so you have to sc scroll down and go to text question.gs. Uh, Double click on it and it will open some text editor and here you can edit the question. So I've put like the number of the, the question here so it's more easy for you to understand but you can just replace the, the, the sentence here. So for example, um, what's your favorite? Well, how do you eat your pasta? How do you eat your pasta? Let's see if it works. 
mm, boom it works so that's that was for the first question and of course you have to change every question so uh, donor or warp okay you can so you can see the question is changing if you want always the same question like what do you prefer uh, the, the, simp the simplest way is just to what do you prefer just copy paste it nine times one and you, you can see it's working and if you don't want the question at all you can ju just remove it or just hide it here and so you just have the images and if you just want the images without the name below you can also hide it um, so it's here and here you can also change the position of course if you want the name uh, all the way up or all the way down you can change it and you can just hide it if you want so you can keep only the image you can also use an image as um, a question. So for that, just remove, uh, change this material with some some images. I don't know, uh, I don't have any image here, but okay. So that's the the past. Uh, but let's imagine it's your question. You can have your question and just remove the text, and so you will you will have your question here. So you can do um, whatever you want with with this um, template and. Yes, I hope you will find uh, the way to use it for your own needs. So um, that's it. Bye bye.